So with the new Powerpuff Girls comic book releasing its first issue this month, I did actually binge all of the original series and I'm going to be talking about all the original series in this video and then I'm going to be reviewing the movie next week and then I will be reviewing the first episode of the comic after that. Um, this show is great. Uh, you know, this era of Cartoon Network shows is just so good. And I gotta say, really, I do want to talk about this first. I'm actually going to review this box set before we get into the show just because I don't think this is being talked about enough. Uh, basically, if you don't know, Powerpuff Girls, this is the original series, had a box set before this that went out of print and now is super expensive. And it was a massive box set. Like, it's this big. Like, it's like it's pretty massive. It had multiple discs, uh, multiple cases. And they slimmed it all down to this nice, slim packaging. Everything's really nice. It's nice and neat here. Uh, there's a lot less disc that was in that original set. All the episodes look great. And, the little episode guide here. All the, and then there's special features and all kinds of stuff. Um, I do not believe this has the Dance Pants special on here, which was like a... 10 year anniversary special but for the most part it has everything on here all the original episodes does not include the movie unfortunately but this set is running $60 there's six, six seasons in here 78 episodes plus over 30 hours of, con of content including holiday specials fans uh, favorite extras all that stuff's all in here for $60 uh, six, six seasons of a show for sixty dollars, that's ten dollars a season. Really can't beat that. So, I think if you want this set, you should definitely go get it. But I, you know, I I love this show. I think what's great about this show is I think a lot of the older Cartoon Network shows really were made for like an older demographic, right? Because this show is incredibly violent. Uh, you know, not like inappropriate so to where I think a kid can watch it. No, it's not that violent, but it's really violent that I think it's enough that parents were definitely concerned when this show came out. Um, not enough that it be, was a problem, but still, uh, you know, it's it's got a lot of very comic booky references in it. It's got a lot of humor that's very subtle. For adults, I don't know. I feel like this show was almost made for an older demographic. I feel like a lot of Cartoon Network shows from that day, uh, back in the day, are, were definitely made that way. And some shows now were uh, uh, that have come out recently, like Adventure Time. Well, I guess not recently, but you know, last few years, like Adventure Time, Steam Universe. I think they've definitely played around with that some more. But it, these shows feel very different, and this show's very funny. It's got a lot of great humor. Uh, and just a lot of clever writing. It's got a lot of great voice actors who have now become legends in the industry, but this is some of their, you know, early stuff here with, like, Tom Kenny. Uh, you got um, Tara Strong and so many other people. They're just so good in this. This show has so many great villains. And, again, I love how much they play around with the superhero for formula in this show. You know, the girls um, are, are such fun, distinct characters, but it's like they, they clearly go for some, like, feminist type stories where, like, the male superheroes kind of shit on them because they're, like, little girls saving the day, even though they can literally kick all their asses, and they do all the time, and it's a lot of fun. A lot of great stuff like that in the show. Just really well done. If I had any problems with the original series, I mean, the animation, art direction, and humor, and just the voice acting, and the characters, and the villains are just so good. I think just the last couple seasons kind of lost the spark. And I do think part of that was because I believe the last couple seasons, kind of the movie was in development, and so that kind of changed the trajectory of making the show, and I feel like some people maybe were burnt out, maybe didn't have the love there, so the humor kind of got lesser. There were still some strong episodes, but it did feel like there was some magic in that first three, I would say even four seasons, that it was just not prevalent in... Uh, season five and six not that it was all gone but it definitely felt like 
there was something missing, and that's why I think this show eventually came to an end. It's kind of interesting. Powerpuff Girls, you know, they rebooted it uh, to very bad effect um, and did not work out for them. Uh, they, they're they going to revive it again with the original creator, which we'll see how that goes. I will definitely be watching it and reviewing it for you guys, right? But, you know, they keep trying to bring this show back, but in a way... This show went on longer than it needed to originally. So while it is this beloved like franchise and property and people I think do want to see it come back, it also just sounds kind of weird because, I mean, you can't do a lot of the stuff they do in this show in terms of violence. In the kids' shows, like, people are a little bit more sensitive. Whether that's a good thing or not, you know, that's up to you, but it, it's that's just the reality. Um, and the magic of the show is when it came out. You know, the show could have only come out in the 90s and been, like, the way it is. If they do some great things uh, with some of the revivals and other things they're going to do, I'm down for that. But for right now, Powerpuff Girls is an awesome show that I think so much of it does hold up years later. Uh, I don't even know how old this show is. I mean, what year did Powerpuff Girls first come on? I don't know, but it's still so good. I love this show. I, it's clear, like, why so many people were enraged by that reboot. It wasn't just that it was a bad show. It's that it really was touching one of the great cartoon classics of the last 25 years, you know? And just phenomenal stuff. 